Years ago, you probably remember, if you remember some of my homilies, that I had shared with you a story of some children when I was way, way, way back when in college that were playing outside my apartment where I was living during the summer. And the children, of course, were out and they were playing the familiar game hide and seek. Now, anytime children partake in that kind of a game, you realize that one person has to be it. They have to close their eyes and they have to count to a certain number while the other children scatter and, of course, they're busy hiding. And once the person who's closed his or her eyes gets to a certain number, why, then they go and they seek. They seek out those who are hiding. Well, in this particular case, there's, you know, always one in every crowd. This was no exception to the rule. There was this child who hid so well that, well, he just could never be found. In this particular chance, he decided to hide in the hedges that were right outside and below my window of my apartment. Well, the hedges were such that there's no way in any God's green earth any child was ever going to find him. So I decided to get into the game. I opened up the window of my apartment and I leaned out and looked down and there the kid was hiding in the shrubs there below me and I quite simply hollered at him, get found kid. <laughs> you can about imagine that startled him a bit. I think he might have lost some bladder function at that time. But nonetheless, he was found. He jumped up, and of course, his friend that was busy seeking sought him out. Get found, kid. It's a good thing for you and I to have that said to us throughout our lives because we live in a time and a place in an era that seems to pride itself on independence, on going it alone on fending for oneself, on doing it yourself. We have grown so much into this understanding that individualism is the be-all and the end-all of everything. And that, my friends, is just simply going down a path that will lead you and I to greater isolationism and to a greater sense of being simply alone. We need to get found. Sometimes we hide too well. We don't want to bother people. We don't want to be a burden. We don't want to impose on others. And so we don't ask for help. We don't want people to know if we're struggling in any way. We don't want to share with them the the, the bad stuff, of course, we're eager to share the good stuff, aren't we? Something good happens to our lives, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? We want to let everybody know about it. Something bad happens, oftentimes we keep it to ourselves. Well, my friends, a joy to share becomes twice the joy. A burden that we choose to share becomes half the burden because we're willing to live in community. Moses pleads, pleads in today's first reading, we are a stiff-necked people, God, but please, please come in our company. Please come and be with us in our company. It's amazing, isn't it, that we celebrate the Feast of the Trinity as a church each and every year, and we need to do it because we've become more and more isolated and more and more individualistic and more and more self-contained. We need the Feast of the Trinity because God reminds us that not even God chooses to live in isolation. No, God chooses to exist in a community, in a community of three persons. God chooses to exist not by himself, but with others. So if God chooses not to live in isolation, why should we? If it's not good for God, 
How is it good for us? No. God chooses to live in community. God chooses to answer the plea of Moses, and God chooses to come into our company, and he does that through the gift of his Son who redeems us and the outpouring of the Spirit that liberates us and gives us, as I mentioned last weekend, meaning and purpose and passion. So we come on this, the Feast of the Trinity, to be reminded that we need to live and move and have our being in community. We need one another. We need to stop hiding. We need, we need to be defound, to be discovered, to be loved by a God who invites you and I into his company.